Welcome to the Supercharged Video Show, where I interview interesting and inspiring people right inside the Tesla. Hello and welcome to another edition of the Supercharged Show. I have none other, none other than Shira Nix. Hello. Hello. In the car with me today. Shira, tell us a little bit about the great charity that you started what is it? What's it's it called? It's called Angel Mamas. Angel Mamas? Yes. yes. Oh my God. We are a 501c3 charity in um, Arizona. Okay. And our mission is to connect mothers while supporting each other and families in our community. Connect so, mothers? Yes. Like... Um, moms need support <laughs> desperately. Um, and we find comfort in just connecting with one another. And I wanted to create something that would give that opportunity for women to connect one another with one another while giving back at the same time. Oh, so that sounds yeah. really cool. So, um, did you have a secret for me? I did. You did? Uh, so I have to close my eyes or something? Yes. Okay. Hold okay. On. Close your eyes. I'm gonna go get it. Okay. Closing my eyes. Okay. Oh. You can open your eyes. Oh my god! What? No way! Are these angel mamas? These are the mamas! These no are the way. mamas! Oh my god! Who are you all? This is fantastic! Thanks for joining us! Hey, thank Good morning. you for having us! My name's Tracy. Hi, Stephanie. Tracy. Hi, Hi Stephanie. Christy. Hi, Christy. Hi. Oh my gosh. So, this is what it's all about. So, tell us more. This, I mean, this is going to be fun. Okay, so we started in 2008. Right. And um, it was just, all I wanted to do was kind of create a little group of moms to get together, connect, and then go and get back somehow. Okay. And we ended up adopting a charity that first year, and it was West Valley Child Crisis Center. So, Very we nice. were going to the um, facility and volunteering once a month and doing arts and crafts and projects with the kids. Uh -huh. And then we were having fundraising events. Um, to raise money for this charity to help them. Very fun. Yeah. And I'm going to guess that you guys also maybe have a little fun when you do this? No. Not no. at all. Never. No? We never it's laugh. not part of the... No. Yeah. It's, it's <laughs> You're very serious? No smiling serious. allowed. No. No. <laughs> that is actually huge and a very big part of what we're all about. I the love whole connecting it. I love piece, it. Coming to our board meetings and committee meetings are not, I mean, they're serious and we get stuff done, but we are there to enjoy ourselves, yeah. have fun. It's a night out for us. We don't get that opportunity that often. So right, right. everything we do has that little piece of fun, connecting, doing good, feeling good, all that good stuff. Love it. That's, that's fantastic. Yeah. So this year we're actually, um, we, we started a Wings of Love program a few years ago. And what our program does is it we help families who have children with life-threatening illnesses. And we help them with anything from medical bills to house payments, utilities. Um, we do extracurricular activities for even the other siblings in the family. Anything that we can do to help these families yeah. through this rough time when they need to be focusing on their, their sick child. So we um, help with that and then we work um, also we do some volunteering over at Phoenix Children's Hospital and arts and crafts with the kids and but I think that's the major thing is that we are very much a grassroots organization and we really try to help people um, personally I mean, we right. not only are we fundraising but then we actually go out and we do the work ourselves yes and that's huge I think that's the whole point of why Shira started this organization is because she didn't want to just raise money and give it away and um, not see the fruits of her labor, but right. to actually you know, We get to meet the families and um, spend time with them and get oh. to know them and, um, yep. you know, and fortunately we we're very attached to them as well and that's a really yeah. hard. Oh, wow, yeah. You know. But I think what we found is that the families that we help then become friends themselves. Yes. So I think in turn, Angel Mamas has created a whole other group of women who are connected their own um, similarities and things that they have in common. So it's Interesting. Right. Okay. Yeah. So you mean the families that are getting the benefits are those are the ones you're talking about? Yep. They Very end up becoming cool. friends. And, oh, nice. I don't, I don't think know. that's something we thought about. No. I mean, I think that's something that we just found that 
on their own. Happen. They found that, you know, they wanted some other families or the other moms to talk to about what they're going through, about some of the difficulties and how hard it is. Um, and that just kind of happened through a lot of the functions that we have. Yeah, cool. yeah they end up supporting each other exactly. through the process, no matter where they're at. Some of them are newer families that have just been diagnosed and other ones have, you know, second or third time of a, you know, going through treatment. Uh, so they're yeah. totally there for each other and, um, it's just amazing to witness that too. Oh, very All around cool. goodness. Now, didn't uh, I think I saw you guys on the news or something right. recently? Tell us about that. We were um, a part of a fundraiser for well, we were actually doing the fundraiser for a young girl. Um, her name is McKendry, and she had just had a bone marrow transplant. Actually, it was back in July, and um, a lot of people don't know this, but when when these kids go through treatment, they often become sterile after. And uh, so their uh, chances of having children are very slim after that. So we had a request to um, help to pay for some egg harvesting for her. And uh, it really was a very big deal to all of us being mothers and wanting to help this girl and give her an opportunity to, to be a mom. Wow. Some days, so we uh, our maximum amount that we could um, allot per family for a medical bill at that time was only a thousand. So we turned to our community on Facebook and raised the remaining the remaining amount for the family in three days. In three days, yeah, really, yeah, <laughs> three days. Congratulations, so we have Good such job, an amazing community of supporters and people that are just just amazing. There are little harvested angel babies. Yes. Yes, yeah. definitely. Yeah. So we were just um, featured on, um, they did a segment on Fox 10, and then it got picked up um, nationwide, and we were on people.com and really? yahoo.com. It was yeah. so yeah. exciting. Yahoo.com, people.com. Yes. We, they showed the news story in Minneapolis, New York, LA, um, pretty much every major city in the United States on Fox. Cool, huh? I love it. I, I love it. I know. Good stuff. So Good now, do you stuff. have people in those other cities now, or is that part, are you... We only treat families, I say this every time, we only help families who are being treated here in Maricopa County right now. And Maricopa County is Phoenix, Arizona. Right, but they could be coming know. from all over the country or wherever and sure. being treated at one of the facilities that we work with, and we'll be able to help them. Um, so unfortunately, right now we don't have the resources to go nationwide and help all these families. But I hope someday we do. Um, we've had some requests for people starting we chapters. Yeah, and, we had Richard yeah. Son in San Diego. There's yeah, been some thoughts about that. Oh, perfect. So and we'll we've had see. requests for people who would like help. Ever since <clears throat> the story broke, we've had a lot of requests. People asking, "Can you help us in Minneapolis? Can you help us in Denver?" And wow. again, unfortunately. Eventually, as Shira says, that would be awesome if we could do that, but this time we just focus on it. Perhaps on your road trip, you can recruit people yes. for us. <laughs> there you go. Yes, I'll do it. <laughs> what I was going to mention about Angel Wellness, I don't know if you already mentioned this, Shira, but to me, and probably you guys too, I think what's so great about this group is not just what we, certainly what we do for others in helping provide financial assistance, but also I think what we do for each other. Because I really think as a group, we've grown so much, and I wasn't even in the beginning, but just through the past years, yeah. it's helped me in in ways I never would have probably expected mm -hmm. as far as communication skills, as far as leadership skills, as, as far as skills that when you, you know, when you become a mom and you've had like this past life that people like seem to forget about, they forget that you ever worked or did anything, you're just a mom. You have no other skills, right? Suddenly it's like you have no other. And I feel like coming to Angel Mom is like, okay, I can actually use some of the skills that I have done in my past jobs and they're appreciated. And, you know, we kind of grow together and use people, utilize people's strengths in areas on the board totally. um, sure. to make us a stronger organization. Because I know when I first came to, I, I for sure, when I first started with Angel Moms, I never would have wanted to be on TV. I don't think. Or I would have been very nervous. Same with you, Cher, right? Um, I'm still very nervous. <laughs> I, I feel like there's just been a lot of growth. Yes. As no, far huge as, for me. Huge. Yeah. I've for had to take a lot of brave you know? steps. Yeah. 
I also know it's now a group of women that I completely can rely on for yeah. anything, not yeah. just within our own group, but I, I also know that I could call any of these women anytime right. if I had any issue with my home, my family, my yep. kids, whatever, and I know that they would be there for me because we have this common bond with yeah. other people. So, um, I agree. Interesting. <laughs> so, I'm a fairly new age mom, and I can't tell you how much I appreciate, you know, building on what Tracy said, how much I appreciate being amongst these women and how much gratification I'm on with. I mean, my husband's even like, always like, so what did you do at Angel Mamas? Yeah. <laughs> That's a great question. Yeah, so how do the how do the husbands, um, are they pretty supportive of what you guys do as well? Definitely. I mean, they. I, I think it took my husband a little while to come around. Yeah. He's always, always been supportive, but I didn't think he realized what we do right. for a, a while and um his support came in the way of like helping with our kids and you know just yeah, being to, there cover, right, right? for all the things that um, i was missing <laughs> when i would be out doing something with angel mamas and then he'd show up with the kids and yeah. come to our little events and stuff so i always loved that but um I think tyler my husband's always been so yeah. supportive in fact i think until this past year he was the only man in the room he was for the luncheon that we had which i think he loved <laughs> the pink shirt but i love seeing that there were really you know, tracy's husband yeah. and the king this year and i think that they are all really you know seeing that we're doing some great things yeah. and wanting to be a part of it so and i think that's i mean honestly mine at first kind of just thought it was like maybe a glorified like fun club, like pep club, wasn't sure like what Because you are having so much fun. Exactly. Yeah. He thought, are you guys really getting work done, you know, kind of yeah. thing? And and he he's always supportive of even, I mean, obviously, any kind of fun that I want to have, my husband is supportive. It involves women. Cut! Cut! Anyway, he now we get it. Now that he's seen how much how much we've grown and again for me, the way I met the way I came in contact with Angel Mamas was really I was a new mom and actually was in that stage where I didn't know what I really wanted to do. I had a, uh, a background in um, hotels and human resources and training and I didn't really I ended up researching different nonprofits in the Phoenix area to kind of find out where do I fit, like where can I help out. And I can always remember the first time I came to Angel Moms, so they had an event at Kona Grill at a local restaurant. And it felt so, yeah, it felt so comfortable and I kind of felt like, okay, they don't seem overly, like, professional, like I can't squeeze, you know what I mean? <laughs> like you were, I don't know, somebody was really pregnant, maybe you were. I had just had a baby. You just had a baby and, and it just seems, yeah. I, I was like, you know what, I don't, I, I really enjoyed that it didn't seem too difficult to really get involved, right. you know, that I wouldn't just be on the on the fringe, but I could actually really make a difference, and that's what drew, right. drew me well, to Angel I think Mamas. we're always, all of us are really down to earth yes, girls exactly. and women, and really love being with other women and having female friends, and I think we're non-competitive, and I think we're, right. it's a very easy group to be a part of, for sure. And it's, I know in the stuff that I've done, too, it's been important to have something where you can give as much as you can time-wise and stuff, but then also, like, because you know how things are. You get busy, and sometimes you can't do something for... You have to kind of disappear for a few months or whatever. And it seems like you guys probably allow that, too, right? That flexibility oh, of... You have to. Yeah. I mean, we've had, we have kids come to our board meetings sometimes. We'll have a separate table for the kids because yep. we're, we're all moms. We know our husbands sometimes are traveling or maybe the babysitter cancels. And so it's okay if our kids, you know, they'll come, they get to know each other, and they have kind of their own separate table, and then I think it, for them, it also is a good learning experience, mm -hmm. right? Because see, they, they see their moms working together, um, creating something, right. and, and, and of course, giving back. I'm just getting car sick. Well, well, oh, are you? No, really? You are? Are you going to be more car sick in the back? You might be more in the back. Yeah, yeah probably. Like we're yeah. All, I mean, we're almost back. Are you guys good if we, like, are done? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm my so gosh. <laughs> are you going to throw up? No, I'm not. I'm not. But, like, I know that I will if I continue. Oh, like, I'm just... Really? It's just me. So I you know. always have to just be the driver? I always have to... Yeah, or just be sitting up Which front and not, like, drive? panting. No, 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 I'm not driving. <laughs> <laughs> good. Really? You're not going to drive? You offered me to drive? I'm, like, one of the most, in, like, annoying people. 
careful when it comes to driving because I always have to ride shotgun. I'm always like, but even right now, you're I'm going to throw up. So I actually reached out to a large national uh, charity to see if they wanted to, would allow me to put their logo on the car until I got like a primary sponsor or whatever, you know, just for free, right? And of course they're, you know, all the lawyers and blah, 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 and, you know, but if you guys want, I would be happy to. <gasps> sure. Put, really? Yeah. Seriously? Absolutely. Oh my gosh, that would be awesome. Can't go right next to your prairie dog? My <laughs> <laughs> on that one. The meerkat, Woo! the meerkat. That one. Woo! 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 <laughs> <Yeah>! <laughs> <laughs> Don't shake Shira. She's like, where's my hand? <sighs> um, that would be amazing. Uh, that you would seriously be... would do that? Do you want to Absolutely. drive around with a pink car? That's awesome. Yeah. <sighs> you, you, are you really? Really? We're right wait, here. I have okay. shotguns at my house. Wait, is it? Yeah, okay. you're right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can pull in the driveway even. Wait, I want to get this on film. No, you're not. <laughs> wait, seriously. We, can serious? I pull in here? Yes, pull in there. No, the other. No. Oh, really? Really? Oh, really? For sure? Oh god! <gasps> go! 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 Oh my god. Wait, I don't Wait. think you can. Wait. Oh. My phone's somewhere here. So oh I'll my god! Really? Did that really just happen? I, this is going to be on film, this part, for sure. <laughs> Shit. Oh. oh my god.